In this video, we'll explain how to clean the nozzle line assembly in your EnergyLogic waste oil heater. The nozzle line assembly needs cleaning once per year or when the nozzle becomes blocked with debris. A higher than normal operating fuel pressure reading on the pump pressure gauge might indicate that the nozzle is blocked. Here's a list of tools you'll need. Two 7 16 inch wrenches, a 5 16 inch nut driver, a 3 8 inch pipe brush, a 3 16 inch pipe brush, a 5 8 inch ratchet or socket, a 1 quarter inch nut driver, a vise, a flat blade screwdriver, a wire brush, a 9 64 inch Allen wrench, parts washer fluid, safety glasses, and rubber gloves. You'll also need an EnergyLogic replacement nozzle. Before you get started, make sure that the main power is turned off. Wear all safety equipment throughout these steps. Step 1. Clean the retention head with a wire brush. Remove any carbon buildup with a flathead screwdriver or a scraper. Step 2. Remove the nozzle block assembly from the burner assembly. Use two 7 16 inch wrenches to disconnect the fuel and air tubing from the nozzle block. Once removed, clean and inspect the copper tubing. Replace is needed. Remove the knurled nuts from the nozzle block. Loosen the ignition transformer screws with a flat blade screwdriver or a 5 16 inch nut driver. Lift the ignition transformer back on its hinge. Disconnect the nozzle heater two pin connector and slide the nozzle block assembly out through the air tube. Clean the springs and the CAD cell on the transformer. Step 3. Unscrew the electrode screw and remove the electrode from the nozzle assembly. Inspect the electrode wire for excessive wear. Also check the porcelain for cracks. Replace any defective parts as needed. Step 4. Remove the retention head by first loosening the collar set screw. Slide the air vane and cover off of the nozzle line assembly. Step 5. Remove the nozzle from the nozzle block assembly using a vise and a 5 8 inch ratchet or socket. Step 6. Remove the center plug at the opposite end of the nozzle to fully clean the passage with parts washer fluid and brushes. Be careful not to apply parts washer fluid to the heater wiring harness during this step. Once all parts are dry, use thread sealer to reinstall the plug. Step 7. Replace the nozzle and reassemble the nozzle line assembly. Rub some oil on the O-ring before installing the new nozzle. For reassembly, refer to the installation and operation manual or find our video on flame retention head and electrode settings. Be sure to reinstall the air vane in the proper location at the opposite end of the bulkhead fitting. Incorrect installation could result in an off-center flame which may damage the heat exchanger and void your warranty. Once the unit is back together, perform all startup and system checks. Record the checks, maintenance performed, and gauge readings in your maintenance log. For other instructional videos and more information about our products, visit us at energylogic.com.